So I started working on this GG1 here and kind of have some mixed feelings. I paid five bucks for it, but I only paid five bucks for it. Um, all the parts are here. It's not like it's missing anything, but this is definitely a bigger project than I expected. Um, so the motor does work and it's all here. And what happened is this wire keeps breaking off where it's supposed to be attached to here. It kept breaking off and you can see some moisture got to this and, and this um, wire here is like not really clean and it's just going to keep on breaking off. So I took it apart because I was going to replace the wire and then when I did, as you can see here, this has directional lighting in it. In other words, there's a diode here and there's a diode there and what that does is oh, that just fell apart um, only one light will work depending on which direction it's going but yeah you can see it's just uh, crumbling here um, so I need to figure out uh, well I know what to do to make a circuit for that and to give you an idea of what I'm facing here so if you can see that there's still a little bit of uh, rust on here. I got most of this cleaned up. Here's the the weight that was in there, and it's kind of rusty if you can see that. And that's that's just a weight. I'll put a little bit of oil on it to to kind of neutralize that. Yikes. Okay. But um, like I said, I paid five bucks for it. I only paid five bucks for it. Um, I had to replace this wire here or resolder it, but I'm going to replace it because um, I'm sure these wires are bad. So this is definitely a bigger project than I expected. Uh, the nice part, like I said, all the parts are here. The body is actually not in bad shape other than, well, here's the pantographs here. You can see the rust on that. Uh, side note here, these newer Tycos here have uh, these little vents and this little uh, brush holder piece here. And that keeps the motor cooler, so that should run better. So if you find a uh, Tyco power torque and has these little vents in it, that's a newer one. So I made a little circuit board here for my directional lighting. Just basically two diodes, two uh, resistors and two LEDs here and this is how it works so current can only flow one direction so if this side is positive and that side is negative then that LED will light if this side is positive and that side is negative this LED will light so if I take my connectors here put power to it that one lights up and if I flip the wires over, that one lights up. The only question is, when I put it in there, am I going to wire it correctly? I can make sure that the lights work. Worst case is I have to turn it around. No big deal. Okay, so I got that circuit board in there and got it wired up. On uh, a lot of old trains, if uh, they look pretty rough, I just replace all this wiring, and especially Tycos because they're usually pretty brittle for some reason. Well, for that or I always have older Tycos. Uh, and when I when I replace these wires, I use a different color, so I got a brown and a yellow. And the reason I do that is if I take it apart, I know that oh, I already replaced the wiring in here. I got this back together and not without a fight uh, I had some problems here the uh, actual armature or the coils on this uh, turns out they were burnt here we had some burns on here and here and over here you can see I hope you can see that so I had to replace that fortunately I had some spare parts so I took the uh, the armature out of this and put it in there and this is what's left of the lighting circuit here 
replaced it. And also what caused that burn on there was apparently somebody, if you can see that, hopefully that'll focus. Somebody took one of the springs out for the uh, brush springs and what they did was cut it in half so what was happening is the brush wasn't sitting on there the way it should be with enough tension which caused that to burn so to take a uh, an existing spring and cut it in half and try and make that work that is not going to work so fortunately from my donor here I had some springs in here and that worked out just fine so I replaced the springs and I replaced the uh, armature and it seems to be working and this seems to be working and I got my lighting working properly the uh, pantographs on here are in pretty rough shape kind of rusty I don't know if I, how much I can fix that up maybe I could find another body that I can get the uh, pantographs from but anyhow let's take this up on track and see what happens <laughs> 